as usual, the stove set up. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is getting dark out there. It's probably going to be dark in about an hour. Right now it's zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It's freezing. That's all I need to say, just at freezing. Something new this time. As you can see, there's no hopper. Why? Because I'm going to use wood. And what I did is I found an old chair somebody's going to throw out. And uh, I just took the seat and chopped it up. I think it's it's oak, so I'm recycling it. And uh, really good hardwood. Uh, hopefully, that's all I need. I've only got a bucket. I did bring pellets, which I'll probably use tomorrow night. But tonight, it's wood. And the change is, instead of the hopper, I've got a plug that I made. It's just a stainless steel cup with a few pebbles in it and some aluminum foil. That's just so the smoke doesn't go out there. It goes out the stovepipe instead. But there's another reason for that, and that is so I can switch to my stainless steel cup and boil water. I don't have to use this area to boil water. I can just use that. Well, here's something you've never seen before. And that's Slim Potato Head using a selfie stick. I'm really not crazy about them, but I'm going to give it a try. Hopefully, you can see in the background, there's my A-liner and, uh, and my Jeeps back there as well, somewhere. But I've just got this camera it's a Osmo action and it's got a and I bought a stabilizer for it so it's time I tested it out so I'm gonna go for a walk try this out and yeah it's winter here December and I know there's a lot of people down south in Arizona going ha ah, ha ha look at slim he's freezing his butt off and uh, we're nice and warm sitting outside our RV having a beer or a margarita or something but I actually like winter is there something wrong with that um, I don't want six months of winter but I don't mind a few months and that's one of the reasons I'm still up here. I like Canada, I really do. And uh, I'm hoping next year I can do a few more videos in Canada, as well as the US, as well as other places. Um, I wanna be more versatile, not just do the same stuff over and over again. But look at this view. I mean, isn't this nice? It's like a postcard. Um, if you like winter, <laughs> I'm going to get brave here. I'm actually going to go, whoa, so this could be the last picture if this doesn't work. You see a slim potato head, but I'm going out in the ice. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, that is slippery. Okay. Um, I'm going to try one other thing with this. I don't know if it's going to work or not. But there is a little tripod accessory. And so what I want to try to do is I'm going to put that on the ice. Hopefully this is going to work. So there we go. It's on the ice, just so I can show you. Whoa, -ho -ho -ho. oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Ah! Oh, okay. I should have brought my skates. Whoa. Woo. Okay, now for the grand finale. Ah, Ta da! Okay, that was fun. That was probably a little goofy. But hey, you can have fun in the wintertime. That's what it's all about getting out 
skiing, skating, sliding on the ice, um, snowshoes. I did bring snowshoes, but right now at least, the snow is not deep enough. So what's the point? There's a bitter wind. It's going to be cold tonight, that I know. So uh, I think after this little walk, I'm gonna start up the stove. But you can walk with me. That's the whole trick of these cameras, right? Warming up now. Well, the stove's doing great. It's nice and toasty in here. It's t-shirt weather, even though it's below freezing outside. And this is the time where I get to cook. And I know what everybody's thinking. Oh no, Slim's gonna cook. It's Blandsville again. But not this time, because a viewer named Jessica was kind enough, she'd seen my past attempts, she wanted to do something about it, so she sent me something. And it's called Tiger Tiger Simmer Sauce Kashmiri Style Korma. Means nothing to me, but I'm gonna try it. Hopefully I can make it at least better than what I usually do. Looking in the instructions, it says you just basically fry stuff up, um, then pour in the sauce, let it simmer for a few minutes, and then pour it over rice. So what I've got is I've got some pre-cooked rice and I'm just going to put it in aluminum. I'm just going to put it in the, uh, in the oven on the, underneath my stove there and that'll heat it up. And I've got a Chinese eggplant, which apparently is better than an Italian one for stir frying. What do I know? I've got some organic green beans and some sliced mushrooms and a little bit of garlic. So I'm going to chop that all up. Oh, that garlic smells so good. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, that smells like heaven. But the question's going to be, how does it taste? That's it. No more trailer videos. I'm gonna do my own cooking show. Thanks, Jessica. Oh, that's awesome. Well, the eggplant was the perfect choice. And by the way, sorry carnivores. Yeah, it's vegetarian. It's not super spicy. That is so good. Oh. Uh, I, I think I, I think I could just cook like grass and dirt and it would taste sensational with this sauce. Hmm, not bland at all.
So in case you're wondering, it's morning and I want to give you an update on how I did with using pieces of hardwood instead of pellets. And you probably know the answer because you can see Dennis the Hopper is back up there again. Not very well. And here's the big problem. A piece this size only lasts about 10 minutes. I mean, you get a real bright, intense heat, um, some coals, embers after that, but it doesn't last long. And even if you put two or three in at the same time, it just makes it hotter. It doesn't really make it last that much longer. So what you end up doing is just constantly feeding it. And uh, yeah, pretty well used up the whole bucket. I tried it for five hours and then I just yeah, this is, it's just too labor intensive. You always got to change the damper and the intensity of the intake. No, good old Dennis tonight. Oh boy. There is a chill in the air. Now I've gathered from some of the comments I've received that uh, when I do have to part with my trailer with Abner, some people are gonna miss it. And I'm gonna miss it too. Um, it's done me well over the years, but the sad fact is uh, I need something new simply because it's just starting to break down. So yes, it is time. And, and by the way, in case you don't see it again, well, you will, of course, but in case you don't, the reason it's called Abner, there's no big story behind this. It's simple. It was called A-Liner, and I wanted to change the name to something unique. So all I did is I took the L and the I, and I made it into a B. It was easy. So now it's my Abner. But yeah, um, I am looking around, and Hey, I may get another A-frame, could be an A-liner, a chalet, a rockwood, whatever. Um, I haven't given up on A-frames, but I really would like it if somebody would make an all-season version. Well insulated, you know, double windows, but none of that aluminum, or at least if it's aluminum on, on the frame, it has to be laminated with an insulation material like plastic or whatever so that it doesn't suck out all the heat. That's my biggest issue with it, is that it just doesn't hold heat well. But I've been looking around and, uh, well, actually, I, I was even looking, uh, A-Liner has something in, I'm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well, Ascape, Ascape? I don't know, it sounds like Ascape, you know, like a kilt. I, I, it's not a good name, if I, if I actually did buy one, first thing I do is I change the name but it's a neat idea it doesn't fold up it's kind of like a triangle you know maybe I'll put a picture over there if, if I'm allowed to um, it's a little small like I still would need the kitchen and the shower and a, a place for my computer so I could do my videos and a bed of course um, but it might be adaptable I might just <laughs> if I get one for a deal maybe I'll just rip it apart and make it the way I want but I've been looking at other things as well. When I was driving through Idaho, I passed this guy with a truck and I wrote it down because it looked really cool. It was called a Kimbo. Another goofy name, but you remember it. That's a good thing. Um, and it was, a, it was like a truck camper, but it was compact. And the thing is, it actually looked cool because I gotta be, I gotta be honest with you, some, some truck campers just look so, I don't know utilitarian and cheap I, I know there's good ones this one definitely is not cheap and I am looking at it um, there are some that have like a little fireplace in them and an indoor shower and you can stand up for me that's a big thing I have to be able to stand up if I get stuck in a you know like a snow squall or a rainstorm or wind you know I don't want to be crouched down for like hours or days at a time and and that's the big thing that was the attraction of the a-frame is it would pop up and I can walk around in it so that's one I was considering now of course in order to get something like that I'd have to have a real truck not a Jeep 
you know, like a pickup truck. And if I was going to go that way, there's other advantages, uh, you know, to the truck campers. There was one called a Palomino backpack. And that was a kind of, even the name sounded cool, but it was a pop-up truck camper. Now, the only problem with that is, yeah, it, it's low profile and it just comes up. But when it comes up, the sides were canvas. Well, okay, like, again, that's just a summer camper. Unless you could find a way of maybe, maybe making like panels that, you know, when it's down, there's these panels that are like even styrofoam or, or something like that. The when it co goes up, you put panels all around the canvas. So that kind of makes it like a, a hard sided camper and it would retain its heat. Who knows? If I get a deal on something, I'll try it, but I'm still looking. I know I have to decide soon because I'm going to run out of time, but it'll happen. Eventually I'll get something. You know what? I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to just chill, go for a walk. Well, isn't that beautiful? I hope you enjoyed this video and check out my other ones as well.